guess what day it is, guys? Five months. What's up, guys? This is your boy, Dobby Boy, back with another freeform lock update. Today's gonna get crazy, guys. I mean, you know it's gonna be crazy when I'm sipping cold brew at a good 7 p.m. Did I just kill this entire bottle? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Today, we're gonna be taking a closer look at the five month progress, yes. But in typical Dami Boy fashion, in case you're new to the Congo Familia, we're gonna be taking a look at the locks before and after a watch. We finna get bubbled. But this time, the bubbles are popping a bit different. I usually try to time my once a week washes, with my monthly update because of work life and daily social responsibilities all this has kept me from washing for a good two weeks look at this look at all this you see that glisten oh, it smells so good oh, man i swear i can get high off of this stuff that natural hair oil who needs conditioner so long as you're not stripping your hair of your natural oils too often when you wash you're gucci so since most of the hair at the top of my head here is already starting to lock up starting to become full mature teenage locks i can start to pull back a bit on my washing so i said it. we've already come two weeks let's go a month i'll get more into what i experienced in a different video that i'm working on but to put it bluntly the head turns have been a lot more usual lately so I'm grateful today we get to share in a final wash of these babies. Make sure you go ahead and smash that like button for your boy because I know the back of my head is going to be looking ridiculous. I just need your support to survive it. I don't know what this is. Makes me want to act like a cat. As you guys can see and as I expected, we have a lot of mattedness going on here. But at the same time, when I feel a bit closer, it does feel like... I don't know if you guys can see all of this mattedness here that feels like one lock coming you see that's one lock right there baby of course in the front here we have many a locks separate those for a sec you see two locks here those were almost a congo if i didn't separate those two things by accident it would have been, here's another Congo. Boom, Congo. Back when I was around five to six months, before, this is around the time where Congos would pop up. It's the front of my head, guys. Things are going all over the place, as you can see. And that's typically because when I'm at the gym, I'm always wearing my hood, just pulled up and tied up, and I'm working out i'm trying to get in the zone and i don't want people to stare at my hair when i'm in the gym it helps me put on the blockers so i see nobody around me and i pick up heavy things and i put them back down nice <laughs> all right here's the left side view i do feel a lot here oh you guys see all these little tiny spirals at the top but the thing is when you get deeper to the root that's when you start to see like oh you know these three heads of locks are actually just one lock. Here's the back of my head. So I know back of my head looks ridiculous as per usual, guys. But I do feel like, I feel like this is a lock right here. Y'all let me know. Is that like a lock back there? Right here. It's interesting. It's a big, it's another like, I think I'm actually making some progress in the back of my head now. I mean, I'll know for sure once we make the wash, but I'm thinking there's some stuff going on. So there's a lot more Congos than I initially expected happening up here. And I honestly don't know how I feel about that. Here's the right side view. Man, I don't, I'm a little, uh, a little overwhelmed, guys. I don't know what's happening at the top of my head. I really don't. I'm interested to see. Oh, he smells so good. Guys, don't make this dirty. Don't you dare. Oh, whew. I love it. And now I know you guys hear me saying this word Congo a bunch of times, and you're probably like, what the hell is he talking about? Are Congos just another name for locks? No. The term Congo are basically a type of dread. It's It happens when two or more dreads basically fuse together like this buddy here. 
and you would notice that they're actually fused because although at the top they may look like two locks or maybe three or four, when you get down to the root, you see that they're actually, uh, you know, they're actually one dread. They become this sort of spider legs or uh, what look like hands, basically. If you look at my old locks from back in the day, I had a bunch of these on my head as well. Now when you're growing freeform locks, Congo dreads are, are basically very, very common. Especially if you're not paying close attention to your locks, uh, they can creep up on you. Some people enjoy them, some people actually don't want them at all. Oh, bro, I'm sorry, I can't help it. You look at that. Now that's good, that's good oil, you know? It's a month worth, you probably don't want. These are one of the reasons why you don't wanna add leave-ins or conditioners in your hair. Your scalp naturally makes these oils, so when you use shampoo, you're basically stripping your hair of these natural oils. Your body's gonna start remaking those oils again on top of your scalp, and if you're adding in leave-in, you're adding in conditioner, you're just adding in a lot of nonsense to the natural oils that are already building upon on your scalp, which creates excess oils on your scalp, which leads to itchiness of your scalp, which leads to you washing your hair again and stripping those oils, your natural oils, and it's, it's like a cyclical, it's a cycle. It's a process that keeps going on and on. Better to just wash, let go and let be for a bit, come back in a week or two later and wash again. Now back to Congo's. I for one always start my journey, at least this journey as well as my last journey, afraid of growing Congos. And then once I start to feel them or see them, I kind of just give in and let it be. I remember with my first crown, I started with something around 30 plus locks. But by the one year mark, when I checked back and started counting my locks, I had about nine or 10. Now you may be wondering if you should grow Congos or if you even want to go down that path of having these big, massive, hand looking locks on top of your head. Now some people do love that look, while others try their best to separate the locks out before the Congos are formed, just so those locks can mature on their own. Uh, for instance, this uh, huge mess that I have here, which is one, two, three. It's a, a bunch of locks around here. I may wanna separate these before they start to mature because then it may just be one big lock like this that grows on my scalp. Probably not something I want down the line, but at this early part of my journey, I'm just not sure. So I may end up separating that, allowing my locks to mature first before I go down the path of having Congos. Which brings us to how to separate Congos. Now, as I said before, not everybody wants the Congo look, but it is a normal process that occurs when you're growing freeform locks. If this is not a look that you want in your freeform locks, I suggest you take some time to just feel around your head, get to understand your head. If this is not something you want I suggest that on a once a month basis I think you should space it out just take once a month and feel around your head if you see a couple locks like these forming what you want to do is make sure your head is wet don't do this with your hair dry because you can cause irreparable damage either take a shower take a bath or grab a spray bottle with your favorite essential oils and get to spray then you would go on to separating your locks using your hands Find the two locks that you wanted to separate, get down to as close as the root as you can, and you would pull those locks apart. Now because my hair is dry, I'm not gonna do that just yet. You wanna try doing this at least once a month because once that dreadlock, once that Congo lock is formed, there's no way you can actually separate them without damaging that lock. So make sure your decision is well thought of before you start to combine locks or separate locks. I, for one, as I said before, do enjoy allowing Congos to grow on my head top. I mean, as you guys can see back on my first crown, I had about nine locks on top of my head. I, I think it adds a lot of uniqueness or character to your dreadlocks. But I don't wanna go too crazy and have just two or three locks pop up my head so after this wash that we get into I am gonna be coming back and seeing if we could uh, go ahead and separate a lock or two let's go on and hop in the bubble baths <laughs> hey <sighs> what's up guys as you can see good uh wash does magic to the baby free formies now y'all your boy got bangs oh my they're bangs I can see them in my vision. Now that might get annoying. It might just be that my hair is still wet so things are just weighted right now. I tried to wait, give myself enough time for things to dry out, but things may still be a little wet. Let me know guys, how is this comparing to that pre-wash? If everything is 
right. Let's say everything is more standing on end now. We can see the locks a lot more clearly. Things aren't matted down. Here's a look at the back side now. A lock forming back here. And guys, I think this is a lock. I feel like I I finally got my first. I think we finally got the first back lock. Here's the right side of the head. If you guys are worried about wondering about separation now that my hair is a little wet, I'll show you. Go a little bit. So we see these, this lock here, and this lock here want to become besties. As you can see from the webbing right there, the little attachments. So what we want to do is get down to the roots. Just make sure we give them a little pull. These two babies right here are forming. They're getting fairly close, so what I'm gonna do is, I don't want this Congo that's here to start moving its way across to this side of the head, so since I'm a little early in the process, I'll just go down here to the root and pull apart, like so. There's a bunch of locks here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A lot of these are forming, so I'm just gonna give this a little rip just to separate these there we go so now here's a lock or a congo that's coming with about four or five locks here and then i separated it from the congo that's over here now this might just look insanely crazy on your end i can't even see what it looks like i'm all going from how i feel now here's an example of a lock that's already decided that it's going to congo up at this point because Things are so dense here in the matrix. It's not ideal for me to separate these two because I'm gonna make this lock weaker overall in general. So I'm gonna leave that be. I actually like it. We are close to half a year. Where are you guys in your journey? Comment below and let me know. Do we see some wiggle up here? Am I wiggling guys? Ooh, let me know. Tell me I'm wiggling. So I don't know, guys. I think I'm digging this. I'm digging. I think now that things are maturing a bit, I can actually cut back on my washes. I don't have to worry about the buildup being trapped in mature locks because, guys, <laughs> my babies is teenagers now, yo. <laughs> okay. But a lesson can be learned. If things start to feel weird or look funny, a nice wash will spring things back in action. And you can always take your fingies feel around and start to separate. If you're okay with Congos, just let things go. If you're a little worried, that's okay too. You can go ahead, edit the locks. As your locks start to mature, they'll be separated. You'll have a bit of control over them. And if down the line you decide, hey, you know what? I actually want some Congos. You can always grab a bunch of locks, put them in a couple rubber bands and let things Congo up that way. I wish each and every one of you out there congratulations on wherever you are in your journey. If you still have more questions about how to wash your locks, I suggest you check out this video right here. It's all the tips and tricks you need to get your baby free for me silky clean the right way. Or, you know, I peg you with somebody who might like this video right here. It's your boy, Dommy Boy, and I'll see you at the next one.